As the main fighting force of the army, servicemen need to be ready and combat fit for operations to carry on without a hitch. The driving force behind good, sound fitness training and development in the army is the Army Fitness Centre or AFC. Hosted by Minister of State for Defence, Associate Professor Ku Sai Ki, members of the Government Parliamentary Committee for Defence and Foreign Affairs, or GPCDFA, and the Resource Panel recently visited the Katip Fitness Conditioning Centre to get a clearer understanding of this important role of the AFC. Under the charge of the AFC, the Fitness Conditioning Centre tests and its men on their level of fitness and endurance through static stations and a 2.4km run. For NS men who fail to make the mark, they will undergo remedial training to help them improve their fitness in order to pass the test. The guys have to juggle their work, they have to juggle sort of their responsibilities for the SAF. I realise what the guys have to go through um, and the amount of discipline and effort that it takes. So I have to say I have a great deal of admiration for those who, you know, go through the, the, the um, IPPT and manage to do well. In October 2006, the IPPT Preparatory Training, or IPT, was launched to help NS men better prepare for their annual IPPT. This voluntary program is part of the SAF's continued efforts to help improve the physical fitness of our NS men and is held at the Fitness Conditioning Centres of Katip and Badok Camp. During IPT, NS men receive instructions on training techniques and attend talks on healthy lifestyles. They can take their IPPT on the 8th session and qualify for monetary awards based on their results. Over five weeks of 10 sessions, NS men come in voluntarily for three hours twice a week, pushing themselves and pushing the envelope of their fitness level. By the time they finish, it would already be about 10 p.m. Definitely worth it. If you put 100% into it, definitely it will improve you. I see improvement in my static station and especially in my running help me to improve a lot, my 2.4. I think it's very important to stay fit. You have to take care of your own fitness. Nobody can do that. Because no matter what, at the end of the day, it will benefit for yourself. It's your, it's your own body. As subject matter expert, the AFC is advisor and consultant to the Army Formations on physical fitness policy and training development related issues. Um, in all aspects of physical training, we're trying to see how best we can uh, package it in a way that we are able to uh, provide safe and progressive training um, and this is to help the soldiers to achieve um, optimal performance uh, in their combat tasks. A fitter soldier usually is able to uh, perform a combat task better, able to think better in a better field situation, able to react to stress in a better way. To do this, the AFC adopts scientific approaches and principles in developing physical training programs for units. Here, for example, we see obese recruits going through a series of trials to determine the feasibility of adopting a new fitness training program in BMTC. We have actually two platoons, uh, one platoon doing the conventional program and the other platoon using the new, so-called new improved program. So what we do is we are collecting data from these two platoons. We want to use this data and see whether uh, there's any difference between the two programs. When it comes to planning, when it comes to the execution of uh, physical training, adopting a scientific approach is very important. We need to come in to tell them uh, about how much to overload, what kind of loading, uh, the dosage in running and things like that, so that it reduces uh, injury rates, attrition rates. Alright, I'm at the Army Fitness Centre gym, which is the best gym in the SAF. I'm all set to pump some iron, and with me here is fitness specialist, First Sergeant Heng Song Po, who will give me some tips on proper weight training. So, here, are you ready? Yeah. The gym provides circuit training for general fitness, power training for sports and games, and even spinning classes for avid cyclists. All these in a bit to get people serious about fitness. Combatants, service support personnel, and also DXOs are frequent users of the gym. The two story air conditioned facility features rubberized flooring, light cherry colors, TV screens, piped in music and the latest gym machines. Qualified and certified fitness specialists like First Sergeant Hing are also available to help train servicemen. Many of these gyms have sprung up in army camps with assistance provided by the AFC in terms of design and setup. 
Okay, basically, so we're going to provide a holistic training for our soldier. Besides the, the endurance one, which they do outdoor, we also want to provide an environment for them to develop their strength. Basically, it's the muscular strength, their muscular endurance, and their muscular power. This will be a complete uh, package for them. And these gyms are equipped with functional trainers that are ideal for developing the soldier's strength required to carry out their operational duties. A static station, you only do one movement, one place. But also for the functional trainer, you can go forward, go backward, up and down and sideways. It's let's say for example for the artillery person lifting an artillery shell, they can use this one, lift it up to the shoulder, stand up, and then do the breaching and loading. This is a cable cross. It can be used to develop the strength and the movement required for digging trenches. So it's a full action, functional action of what you're actually going to do in digging a trench, which is one of the most basic soldiering skills for all the soldiers to use. Fitness specialist plays a crucial role in keeping our personnel fighting fit. AFC conducts the basic fitness specialist course to train fitness specialists in the basics of exercise science as well as the theory and application of physical training in the SAF. External expertise are engaged to level up the trainees' knowledge on the physical development of the soldiers to topics such as anatomy, exercise physiology, biomechanics and nutrition. They also learn how to manage the psychological motivation of our fighting soldiers. The fitness specialist has to inspire. He needs to understand what motivates people. What we put into our soldiers' training can impact on their motivational beliefs, their emotions. Uh, it also helps shape how it is they want to uh, partake of the training that's being given to them. All that the trainees have learned through the course will now be applied on themselves in the combat physical fitness test. A 200 meter swim with the rifle, a 1.5 kilometer run to the standard obstacle course which they must complete, and another 3.5 kilometers to the finish line. Complete all these in 52 minutes and trainees graduate as fitness specialists. No matter how rigorous a training the soldiers are put through, the fitness specialist has been there himself and even further. So he is better placed to advise soldiers on the correct training to adopt when conditioning for demanding physical challenges. You have to um, achieve a certain standard before you can expect that standard to be achieved from your trainees. So uh, we have really um, experienced all this uh, very tough training. So I think you can then uh, reasonably ask them to achieve that, that standard. Yeah, to attain that goal. As the Army transforms itself into a third generation force, the Army Fitness Centre will continue to play a critical role in developing the soldiers of tomorrow. Through scientific principles and approaches, it will help to develop soldiers that are mission ready and fighting fit.